26. Changing of fumaric acid into malic acid. Well, the main difference is the malic acid has a H and an OH, an extra H and OH, which means we actually have to add a H2O across the double bonds. So that will require us to use steam with sulfuric acid. Conditions for hydration. 27. Propane and chlorine reacts and then we get a uh, two mono substituted products. What information is true? First of all, this is a free radical substitution. So we will require a homolytic bond fission of your chlorine atoms to get two radicals. So homolytic. The ratio is in which they are obtained. Propane has eight carb eight hydrogen altogether. If we were to replace this any of these six hydrogen, we will get our one chloropropane. If we were to replace any of these two hydrogen, we will get our two chloropropane. So we have six possibilities for one chloropropane and two for two chloropropane. It's all about probability. So ratio will be three is to one. If this compound is reacted with cold dilute potassium manganate, what will we get? We will have our addition of diols across the double bonds. How many chiral centers will be produced? So if you look from left to right, we have one chiral center here. And we have two chiral centers. What statement is not correct? It will cause hot dichromate to change from orange to green. Well, this one hydroxy group can be oxidized, so your dichromate will be reduced. So, this is correct. It decolorized bromine. There's a double bond here and here that will also decolorize bromine brown to colorless. It's correct. 3 methyl groups and 3 methylene groups. We have 1 methyl group here, 2 and 3, and we have 3 CH2 groups here, 1, 2, 3. So statement C is correct. D is the one that is an incorrect statement. 2 pairs of cis trans. Here we do not have a cis trans because they are 2 of the same groups. And the cis trans is located here, or the EZ is located here. So we any actually have only one pair of um, optical isomers, or not optical isomers, geometric isomers. Okay. To be fair, this is actually called an EZ isomer. But definitely there are no two pairs of cis trans. Which pair will give us the ester? We have this acid group, which is three carbons, and the alcohol group will be one carbon. Okay, I draw the structure here. Maybe it's easier to see. This is the acid. This is alcohol. So we need methanol and three carbon acid, propanoic acid. Thirty one, which of the reactions will give us a positive ions? First ionization energy, removal of one electron, we will get a positive ion. Heterolytic fission. Heterolytic means the two electrons in the covalent bonds, both of them go to the a particular atom. So if these two go to B, B will be negatively charged. A will be 
positively charged. So we have a positive ions here. Atomization, changing of your substance to gaseous form, free atoms, we might not necessarily have positive ions. So 1 and 2 are correct. Why does aluminum chloride sublime at a relatively low temperature? When we say sublime, we are overcoming intermolecular attraction. So we have Al2Cl6 moving away from another Al2Cl6. It is intermolecular. So they are pretty weak, so we expect them to be separated at low temperatures. Coordinate bonds and covalent bonds are talking about here. Covalent bonds are weak. Well, this will mean that they will dissociate easily. Meaning, if the statement says, why does it go from Al2, Cl6 to two separate molecules of Al, Cl3, then maybe the next two statements are true. Okay? But we are not talking about breaking up the molecule. We are separating one molecule from the other. So these two are not relevant here. We have three statements that are true here, but which one is relevant to hydrogen bonding? Number one, at zero degrees, ice floats on water. Now, ice or water, H2O has hydrogen bonding, and when it's in solid form, it actually has to rearrange itself at a much regular manner. So they actually will be a larger distance among the molecules. Compared to water, they are not so regularly arranged. They can actually be closer together. So ice will have a higher dense, uh, lower density because they are more spaced apart. Water is higher density. That's why ice will float on water. So this is true. Propanol, higher boiling point than propanone because propanol, the H is directly joined to the O, it has hydrogen bonding, whereas propanone only has permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular attraction, which is weaker. Propanone and propanol, propanone as mentioned is permanent dipole, propanol, again there's no hydrogen joined directly to the O, it's also permanent dipole. So they mix completely because they have permanent dipole interactions, not because of hydrogen bonding. Thirty four treating acidic soil with um, lime and the soil already contains a fertilizer. So what reactions will occur? First of all, the ammonium nitrate and the lime is actually ammonium salt and a base. So we get salt, water and ammonia gas reaction. Okay, so this is our first reaction that may happen. Second, adding of the lime on acidic soil, you do you will encounter neutralization. So lime and acidic uh, H plus, you get salt and water. This raises the pH by removing the acid. That will also happen. Okay, and under normal conditions where there's carbon dioxide in the air and all that, we will expect your lime to react with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. You will get calcium carbonate and water. That might also happen. So all three statements are correct.